Hello, and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, February 23rd. Tesla announced a new investment to expand production at Gigafactory Shanghai. Last year, CEO Elon Musk disclosed that the factory has now surpassed Fremont in terms of production capacity. Tesla has actually made the Chinese factory its main export hub, recently exporting the right-hand drive Model Y into the UK. This week, Tesla filed with the local city government in China for an expansion of its parts production that will involve growing its workforce and adding shift on some of its equipment. This is after a recent $200 million investment just last November. CATL, Tesla's main battery cell supplier in China, is building a battery factory nearby which is expected to accelerate production. Elon Musk said that Tesla is working to make Steam's library of video games work on the onboard vehicle computer. This isn't just a fun project for Musk, who has been commenting on his penchant for video games in the past, but really Tesla is working to build a gaming platform inside their vehicles to alleviate boredom when actual self-driving cars become commonplace. We've seen indications in software code that Tesla offers a paid package of different video games, or at least the intention to do so. Now, Musk has announced on Twitter that Tesla is working to make Steam's library of games work directly on the software instead of porting in specific games. In the Twitter thread, Musk reiterated that his goal is to make Cyberpunk work on the Cybertruck, which, by the way, the video game Cyberpunk is quite demanding in terms of computing power. Tesla was granted a patent for a new automatic tire inflation system enabling to adjust tire pressure in real time. We reported on Tesla applying for a patent for this technology back in 2018, shortly after the announcement of the Tesla Semi. Many military vehicles and heavy workhorse trucks use automatic tire inflation systems. However, Tesla describes shortcomings of existing systems in the original application, when they write, quote, To couple the air into the hollow drive axles, a rotatingly attached fitting coupled air from an air storage to the inside of the hollow axles. This fitting was subject to leakage of contaminants. Now, in order to overcome the shortcomings, Tesla instead writes that they have a more intelligent system with valves, bearings, and a rotary air seal. It's written in patent speak, which is even more difficult than what I previously read. While the patent was recently granted, it's important to note that not all technologies that companies seek to secure will end up in commercial products. Swedish automaker Polestar has begun sharing its initial list of potential collaborators for the Polestar Zero project. The Zero project is the company's initiative to change the way cars are made by eliminating emissions from the entire supply chain. Polestar has begun sharing their partners that it has in place who have submitted letters of intent. Nordic metal company SSAB, Norwegian aluminum company Hydro, electric powertrain system supplier ZF, automotive safety supplier Autoleave, and lighting manufacturer ZKW. The doors aren't closed for collaborators, far from it. Suppliers, researchers, universities, entrepreneurs, investors, government and non-government organizations are also invited too. Polestar has a call-out on their Sustainable Development Solutions Network and has invited these parties to contact Polestar by March 23rd. Lucid has announced a recall of 203 of its flagship air luxury sedans, citing a potential issue surrounding the installation of a suspension component. This appears to be a precautionary measure, as no failures of the part have been reported. The Air Dream Edition is the first and only EV trim to arrive from Lucid Motors so far, following years of anticipation and hype surrounding the premium luxury sedan. While we don't know exactly how many have been delivered, we do know that at least 203 in the world will need to come back. The issue is a suspension component called the front strut damper, which, according to Lucid, was assembled improperly by its supplier. Lucid expects only 1% of the 203 vehicles to have an improperly installed version, and our crack mathematician team at Electrek crunched the numbers, saying that this amounts to about two total vehicles. Volkswagen of America has shared the EPA estimates for the 2022 version of the ID.4 Pro electric SUV. While each of the 2022 trims saw a range increase, it was the rear-wheel drive version that saw the biggest jump to 280 miles compared to 260 in the 2021 model. 
In addition to increasing the EPA range, Volkswagen is also claiming that the 2022 model also comes with improved DC fast charging speed, from 120 kilowatts up to now 135. All 2022 models of the ID4 crossover will also come with the plug and charge capability once it becomes available with a later date through an over the air software update. Chinese conglomerate BYD has announced that Swedish freight technology company Enride has purchased 200 of its 8TT battery electric trucks. Enride itself develops electrified commercial mobility solutions and autonomous Class 8 trucks. The BYD trucks will be built in the U.S. and delivered to Enride over the next 12 months. Last November, Enride announced that it was launching services in the United States to help transition freight transportation to electric and upcoming autonomous needs. Looking ahead, Enride will continue to develop its autonomous Enride Pod, which is a flatbed pod truck to better adapt for U.S. roads. In today's community comment, Bill Shira says, quote, Ah, my favorite shirt. Glad you travel with it. Yes, Bill, as a matter of fact, I do indeed. We got snowed in here last night, so our trip is a little bit extended. The roads were pretty bad, quite bad. A part of I-15 was closed off, and we slid into home base, arriving to the hotel last night. We actually got the last room they had, which is designated for people with hearing impairments. Of course, it's right next to the noisy elevator. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.